What is going on everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that, but in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive, and of course, Paid to Drive Vlogs, day number 1371, coming at you with a brand new video. And if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of those others, you are in the right place, my friends, to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy. So get started right now for free hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so that you're always up to date with what's going on. And if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. And let's jump into the email, Triple Lindy Thornton Mellon style. I get no respect. This is a little cringe, don't you think? All right, now that we've gotten the cringe out of the way, this comes from Tom. Now, Tom had previously talked about this DoorDash pay model revision and how he figured that this could work if DoorDash were to adapt this kind of uh, pay model. And there was a lot of mixed feelings about it. Some people really loved it. Some people really did not like it. So the subject is DoorDash pay model revised, facts only. So he says, Pete, as pro cherry pickers, we spend over 80% of our time pushing buttons on the app while driving and sometimes waiting around to take one out of 10 offers. This does not help the drivers, customers, DoorDash, or the restaurants. What does help everyone is being able to get most orders picked up and delivered fast. We can continue to make an average of $9 per order by waiting around and declining eight out of 10 offers nonstop, which results in less deliveries per hour or we can do the opposite and get paid more by completing 80% of the offers. No driver wants to analyze every single offer that comes in just to decline most of them while waiting gas, waiting for or wasting gas or sitting in a parking lot. And I really agree with that. Let me know, do you guys agree or disagree so far in the chat or the comments? No driver, yes. Uh, productivity increases the bottom line of DoorDash and restaurants and drivers resulting in very satisfied customers. Accepting 80% of all offers results in more offers paying you $8 per offer. The most a cherry picker can expect per shift is $12 per offer, including hidden tips and three deliveries per hour, if busy, but that's on a good day while declining almost all orders. The new pay model should go as follows. So this is the part, everybody listen up. In the chat or the comments, I want everyone to participate in this, even those people who usually just lurk, comment on this one. Do you like this? So he breaks it up into bronze, silver, and gold categories. Kind of like what Uber does for Uber Eats. Sort of, kind of. So listen, number one, the bronze category. You complete at least 100 deliveries per month with a 60% acceptance rate and earn a minimum of $6 per order. Number two, the silver package. Complete at least 100 deliveries per month with an 80% acceptance rate and earn a minimum of $8 per order. Accepting most orders results in minimal downtime and doing just four orders per hour equals $32 an hour or $40 per hour by just doing five per hour. But if you can manage to get those out that quickly, you know, that's the thing. Like me, I always average two to two and a half orders per hour. And then finally, the third is gold. Complete at least 100 deliveries per month with a 95% acceptance rate and earn a minimum of $10 per order. You are getting paid 20% more by accepting the undesirable orders. Thanks, Pete. So what do we think about what Tom said this time? I... I like it, I do, but at the same time, I feel like it's the the same kind of situation again where the undesirable orders you're talking about, yeah, sure, lowball offers, but what usually comes attached with lowball offers in most cases, not all cases, in most, you may end up going to an undesirable area to drop it off. You may be going to an undesirable air, uh, restaurant to go pick up from, in an undesirable area or just a restaurant that takes too long, you know? So 
as much as it is good, there are some things like that could really mess things up. Like what if they want you to drive freaking 30 miles away, 40 miles away, you know, and they're sending you lots of long distance orders. You're going to destroy your acceptance rate anyway. So I think you're on the right track, Tom. Okay. And I, I would try and pitch it to DoorDash, try and contact them. I mean, you know, couldn't hurt, you know, the chances are, are low that they're going to actually do something. But pitch it to them. See what happens. So drivers, dashers, in the chat or the comments, do you like this pay model concept that Tom has come up with? Yes? No? Are you kind of in the middle? Because like I'm sort of in the middle. I like where he's going. But again, the orders that are undesirable, like for the reasons that I listed, I don't know if that's going to work, you know? So Tom, I appreciate the effort. I'm not trying to come down on you. I really, really appreciate you. Uh, revising this. So we'll see what happens, you know? Anyway, if you guys ever want to send me anything, just like Tom did, have an article, a story, a question, email it to paid to drive stories at gmail.com. That's the best place to reach me. Uh, but if you want a little bit of a quicker response, you can always message me through Patreon at patreon.com slash paid to drive. There's a link in the description down below or in the pinned top comment in the comment section. Click on there, sign up, and anyone who signs up, I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos. I'm about to do that right now. So when you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. We've got Samantha Michaels, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Joe Valerio, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux, Laura Love, Agus, Tom Perry, Alan G. Van Horn, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hine, Brian Richardson, Kenny Bess, Jenny Thomas, John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacy Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and of course, Valerie Brown. Huge shout outs to all of those patrons. Really appreciate your support. And down below in the description also is the link for the Get Upside Gas app. It's a free app for your smartphone. Every single one of you are eligible. Download it today and you save money at the gas pump. It's very simple. You download it from the link at the bottom of the description of this video. Go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app. And within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description. Please make sure to download it today. All right. And of course, if you love this shirt, like I do, live to drive, drive to live, you can get one of these shirts or lots of other designs over at paytodrivestore.com. Everything is on sale every day. Really comfortable stuff, uh, different designs, colors, sizes. Get your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies at paytodrivestore.com. Again, links down below. Go check it out. And if you made it to the end of this video, let me know with a comment. Let me know. Comment END718, END718. Just lets me know you made it to the end. Hit that free red subscribe button down below. Turn on all notifications, of course. END, END. Uh, hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it, guys. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. So until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you guys next time right here on Paid to Drive. And of course, Paid to Drive Vlogs. Really appreciate your time. And as always, drive safe, be well. And until next time, we'll see you on the next one. See ya.